Alright, here's the aquaponic update for June 1st. It's actually June 2nd, sorry. I'm a day late, but <clears throat> I want to say congratulations to my nephew Ryan and to our lovely little Destiny for getting through and getting their piece of paper from high school. Good job, kids. That being said, water chemistry, uh, pH is just a little high right now. There's, we're going through a lot of water because of the evaporation that's uh, into the 111 yesterday. And so we're what, in heat advisories right now. We're showing a little faint bit of uh, nitrite, but uh, not really a big deal. Ammonia is great. I'll hit the pH. Won't take much to knock it down a little bit and nitrates are nice and bloody red. So I need to get the second bed going. That's all there is to it. The second, a second row bed will definitely help with the nitrate issue. And as you can see I finally cut half of the plant out. I harvested uh, two plate, well, three platefuls of, of tomatoes this week. There's still a few more that are about a day away, and all of this is still going. Got, uh, I removed, since I removed the uh, other part of the plant that was shading everything up there, this Thai basil has doubled its volume. It's just gone insane. And the bok choy, now that they're getting sunlight, you can see uh, they're coming in really nice. That's another uh, pinto bean. This is actually beans from the first little pinto bean. Uh, vine that we had and I let the pods dry out and I threw some of them in here and boom there's two more coming in. I put some more cilantro seed and the basil is just cranking as usual. I've been giving I've given some away the uh, past week and can basically keep cutting off more here and there, but very, very, I'm starting to notice we might have another little caterpillar here somewhere. <laughs> These little buggers come in and they're fast. I'll have to track him down, but uh, for the most part, I haven't had to spray anything yet into June. I haven't sprayed since, I don't know, last year, I guess. And this might be part of the reason why. They've been in here doing their pollinating and leaving everybody alone. And and this guy here, I don't know if we can see Daddy Long Leg up there. At night, I shine my, I have the blinds open and I actually have my desk light on and all of these moths just fly straight towards the spider webs all night. You see the, get to see the spiders. Maybe I'll try and get a video of one night of one of the moths getting wrapped up by the spider and between those two different insects I haven't had I haven't seen a tomato worm yet this season knock on wood and uh, very few of the uh, moths for the uh, basil too so um, not sure if we'll be able to see that I put this fake rock structure in here and see one crawling around right there. There's some crawdads in here and uh, actually a couple of uh, smaller 
sun bait fish that I had bait cast net uh, netted out of a body of water that I was using for bait and I brought them home with the crawdads. There's uh, not quite 20 of them in here. I'll get cleaned up, get them fat, and probably eat them. But they have really helped process any food, you know, or larger pieces that make it back through the uh, overflow for a fish. I have put the screen back on. I have taken the... Um, water blanket or the the uh, water heater blanket off of it because the water is now getting really warm and it stays really warm but I'm going to allow some air to move around it now and knock the temperature down some but other than that the fish are huge when we get to see them um, I had a screen a piece of screen that I've been laying over it you know just blocking some of the sun from it and I got a little lazy <clears throat> and we had a couple of jumpers that didn't survive so we lost two fish this past month because of my laziness <clears throat> remember tilapia jump always keep a lid on it So that's about it. Everything's growing and just putting more stuff to grow into it. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers and everybody that's been viewing the videos. I hope they're getting some sort of use out of them. And uh, we'll see you later.